here. What do we have? We have the squares of binomials, dude. Yes, squares of binomials. Objective to find squares of binomials and to factor perfect square. Try binomials. Yes, that's what I said. Try, baby. You go and try it. Okay, here we go. Um, let's talk about what a perfect square binomial is. Uh, these binomials, um, the these perfect square trinomials, are simply the square of a binomial. So what, let's square this guy. Ready? I get x plus 3 times x plus 3. I'm going to do this mentally. x times x is x squared. 3x, 3x is 6x plus 9. And let's see when I do a plus b times a plus b if there's a similar thing going on here. Okay, I get a squared for the first term, b squared for the last term. ab plus ab is 2ab. So let's see what I got. I end up with a square, a square, and the, the middle ends up being twice ab. Two times the first term times the second. Interesting. So it's the first term squared the second term squared at the end, the middle term ends up being two times these two times each other. Let's see if it works over here. Is this is the first term squared? Yes. The last one's the second term squared. And the middle is it two times this times this? Let's see. Three times x is three x. Two of those is six x. Yes. And that's the pattern we're looking for. We're looking for a square here, a square here, and then twice the product in the middle. Okay, so let's do another one here, ready? Now, knowing this, can I just, knowing this little pattern here, can I do the same thing? Yeah, square the first term, which becomes 16x squared. The last term, 3y, square that, 9y squared. And now, 2ab is just double this times this. So I'm going to double this times this. This times this is 12xy, double that is 24 xy. If you don't believe me, you can do it out. 4x plus 3y. 4x plus 3y. Let's see how it works. 4x, 16x squared for the first term. 9y squared for the last term. 12y plus 12y, 24y. xy, sorry. 12xy, 12xy, 24. Same thing here. Let's use a pattern. The first term squared, the last term squared. This guy squared is p squared q squared. This guy squared is 9v squared. Now the middle one has to be double the product of these two guys, the first and the last. So I'm going to double this times this. Well this times this is going to be 3 pqv. Negative 3 pqv. Two of those is negative 6 pqv. Now do you, do you believe this is true? Let's see. Negative pq plus 3v negative pq plus 3v. Let's try it. Well, the first term, yes. Last term, yes. Negative 3 pqv, negative 3, negative... Yes! Cool. What are these guys called? These guys are called perfect square trinomials. Just like, you know, 4 is 2 times 2, that's a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. 36, 225. These are perfect squares because it's an integer times an integer. An integer times itself. These guys are perfect squares, these trinomials, because it's a binomial times itself. Geometrically, it looks like this. Um, both of these are the same. Um, this is a plus b over here. This is a plus b over here. Okay? What happens? I get a times a is a squared. a times b is ab. a times b is ab. b times b is b squared. I get a squared plus b squared, and I have two ab's, don't I? Okay? Isn't that neat? Um, geometrically, if I did the old difference of two squares, the only di the difference would be, this would be a minus, right? And this would be a negative, and this would be a negative. Those cancel out. You get a squared minus b squared. Um, whatever. Think about that. So, perfect square trinomials. Three questions to ask yourself. Here they are. One, is the first term a square? Two, is the last term a square? Three, is the middle term twice the product of those roots? So let's see. Is the first one a square? Yes, it's the square of y. The root of that's y. Is this a square? Yes, the square root is 3. Right? Is the middle term twice the product of these roots? 3 times y is 3y. Is that twice 3y? Yes! 
So this is definitely a perfect square trinomial, and the trinomial is y, I mean, the perfect square trinomial, the binomial squared is this. All right? Remember this questions. Is the first term a square? Is the last term a square? Is the middle the product of the roots? Let's try it again. Here we go. I'm going to ask myself the questions. Is the first one a square? Yes, this is a perfect square. It's a square of this. Is this a square? Yes, it's the square of 12. Now, is the middle one, now you've got to be careful here, is the middle one twice the product of the roots? No, it's not, is it? Because this is 12y, this has to be 24y for this to be. This is not a perfect square trinomial. Not. Okay? Now, if this is a 24, I'd say, yeah, man, yeah. And it's y plus 12 times y plus 12, or y plus 12 squared. Okay? But that didn't work out. Trick question. Let's try this one. Is this a perfect square trinomial? Okay? So look at the first. Wait a minute. These in the right order? Oh, wait a minute. No, I want to put the quadratic term first. So oh, this was a tricky question. 16c squared. Put then the linear term. Good. Now it looks better. Let me see. Did I mess up on that? No, no. This is uh, this is still just no. Okay. So let's see. Let's ask the questions. Is this a square? Hmm. Let's see. 4c is 4c. Yes, that's a square. I should put it in a square. <laughs> um, is this a square? Yeah, it's 3 squared, right? Now, is this guy twice the product of these two? Well, let's see. Hmm. Well, actually, when you think about it, couldn't this have been a negative? Yeah. And is it negative 3 times negative 3? 9? Heck yeah, it is, man! So look at this! When I find this product, because it's negative, because you, you ignore the sign when you're checking to see, yes, this is 3 times 4 is 12c, and that, I mean, is, is 12c, double it is 24c, ignore the negative I did in the wrong order for you, so we'll do it ne next time we get a negative, we'll ignore it first and talk about it later. But yeah, you make one of these negative. Um, and you end up with 4c minus 3 squared. Okay? Check it here. Do we have squares? Oh, yeah, we got squares everywhere. Um, should I factor some stuff out of here first? Yeah, I can take a, I can take a p squared out of there. Um, I can take a, a 4 out of there, right? I can take an 8 out of there, then no, but I want to keep square. So I'm going to take a 4 and a p out of there. I want to keep the, if I take an 8 out of here, it's going to end up with a 2. So I want this to stay a perfect square. Um, and this to stay a perfect square. Um, so I'm going to take a 4. I'll take a 4 p squared out of here. This is a tricky one. So I get 9 p squared minus um, four, 12 p um, plus 4. Good. Now, is this a perfect square? Yeah, this is 3p. Square root of that is 3p. So the three questions. Is this a square? Is this a square? Is this twice the product of those roots? So first you have to make sure you find these roots. Okay, 2. 3p times 2 is 6p. Is 12p twice 6p? Yes, it is. Now worry about the signs. There we go. 4p squared times 3p minus 2 squared. And double check. And, you know, if you want to double check, 3p minus 2 times 3p minus 2. Let's figure it out. 3p times 3p is 9p squared um, minus uh, 6p minus 6p plus 4. Yes, minus 4. So, yeah. It worked! All right. So, we're almost done here. Let's see. Gets a little bit trickier here. Is this a perfect square? Yes, it's of this. Is this a perfect square? Yes, it's this. Um, this times this is 6pq. Is that double it? Yes. So I get pq minus 6 squared. Very nice. Double check. Is this a perfect square? Yes. The square root is x plus 1. Is this a perfect square? Yes. The square root is 1. Okay. Is this double this times this, time this is this? Is that double it? Yes. So it ends up being x plus 1 minus 1 squared. Well, that ends up just being x squared. Well, that's craziness. Wow. And finally, the last one. Is this a perfect square? Yes. Of this. Is it? Oh, this is solve. Oh, man. So, let me see. Oh, I ended up doing that plus that times that minus that and figuring it out. But whatever. Have a great day. I didn't have time to do the solve and check, but I can't do it tonight. Have a nice day. Hey, 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 hey.